Hi guys, I'm Marika Takeuchi. I had the privilege of writing a demo song for Cubase 10.5, and I wanted to show you how I made it. First, I set up a template for the project by loading instrument tracks, MIDI tracks, group channels, and effects channels. Cubase 10.5 allows you to color the channel strips in the mixer window, which is so pretty and makes it easy to organize your tracks. I've loaded two piano sounds, hat, percussion, and strings in Harion, and synth sounds using Pad Shop 2, Prologue, and Retro Look. And finally, a few reverbs and delays. Once I had it all set up, I played around with the piano and came up with the right phrases. For this song, I also wanted to use the new multi-tap delay to create cool rhythmic chords from the piano. So I set it up like this and sent the main piano part into it. I also set up another multi-tap delay with different settings and sent it to the other piano to create different rhythmic patterns. I also bounced a little piece of the piano track to an audio track, processed and reversed it to create the backward swell, which I'm using in a couple places in the piece. Next, I loaded a couple synth sounds with patch shop 2 to create a dreamy atmosphere. Then I added harp and pizzicato and staccato strings to give the song some motion and momentum. Then I added a legato violin melody with a second violin harmony part. Finally, I added cymbal and this wooden percussion sound and another synth sound from Prologue to give it some more texture. Once that was done, I started EQing the piano, strings, and a few other instruments. I wanted to make the piano a bit warmer and thicker, and the strings a bit brighter. Finally, I added an EQ and a compressor to the master fader. A great new feature in Cubase 10.5's EQ is that it allows you to see the frequency spectrum of another track in the background as a reference. I also added Magneto 2 on several tracks. This is one of my favorite plugins in Cubase because it adds a nice analog sound which can be really helpful on samples and the synth. So, now it's all done. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful and that you're going to make great music in Cubase 10.5.